welcome back students this is your chandrasekhar utkuri i am going to let you know the very important questions for the course computer organization and microprocessor com for information technology i mean it students of r18 regulation under j n t h this is a much important and very lengthy in its structure you need to focus on each and every part where i am going to highlight here i am going to let you know few short questions in between do not skip this video and this is one of the scoring subject too if you are going to work out as per the plan which i am going to let you know in this video the first and foremost unit you need to cover is the unit 1 it's about the block diagram of a digital computer and the operational concepts of a computer is said to be one of the top most question define computer organization may be the short question instruction codes input and output interrupt may be the short question control unit design may be the long question dear students later the computer design versus computer architecture may be the five mark question i do not expect direct 10 mark question memory reference instructions may be the short question and the various phases of instruction cycle may be the long question define the term control memory may be the short question computer instructions and computer registers may be also five mark question this comes under the question 2 and 3 in the question paper with a b e split and whereas 1 a to j e are the short questions which you know you need to work out all these concepts to cover even the short questions dear students later i am going to give you one more important question is that explain the control sequence for execution of an conditional branch instructions and sign versus unsigned binary numbers with a table you need to have to write even the programs also related to the course computer organization and microprocessor these all are set to be the top most questions where you are going to get 15 out of 15 marks if you are working out all this questions and writing it very neatly as the concept of how to write a theory paper i have uploaded a video please go through it now the very important part for the unit 2 and unit 3 you need to be studied together you need to focus together if you are studying unit 3 unit 2 you are supposed to focus even on unit 3 also So dear students all about 8086 microprocessor any part of 8086 microprocessor concepts may be asked in form of short and long what is a bus draw the figure to show how functional units are interconnected using a bus functionality of the assembler directories of 8086 microprocessor such as dup pro and np segment and dw such type of questions may be in term of 2 or 3 or sometimes even the 5 mark draw and draw uh, and the the read and write cycle timing diagrams of 8086 minimum code in minimum mode is said to be the top most question execution of all instructions of 8086 along with an example and 8086 processor architecture you need to start working with the architecture diagram then the execution of all the instructions and the different types of interrupts you are not supposed to skip any part of these 8086 microprocessor as you have gone through 3 to 4 exams till now where the paper is too lengthy in its structure and they are asking from every corner of the syllabus dear students i have kept the many many questions here for the third and fourth if you work out this you are going to get 30 marks for sure maximum and minimum mode of operation of 8086 assemble directives and operators maybe the short question internal register diagram of 8086 and the functions of each register if they ask this is a long question and they may ask in short the functions instructions related to arithmetic and logic shift this is all about unit 3 and 4 i mean in the 4 5 and the 6 7 questions are being asked from these questions physical memory organization of 8086 microprocessor and 8086 program to add write a program to uh, add two 16 bit numbers in cx and dx and store the results in location such type of questions may be the damn sure this time hope you are taking very well your exams you are attempting either 6a b or 7a b only dear students you are not going to attempt 6a and 7b that is nowhere valid answer if for evaluation write an assembly language assembly language question is said to be the top most question program to find the factorial of 16 bit number input output addressing capability and the function of maximum mode control bus signal explain it stack structure the short question interrupt and so service interrupt service route in the short question addressing modes of 8086 is also 3 mark interrupt response sequence of 8086 may be long and the machine language instruction format is a short question 
Later, write an assembly language program to generate Fibonacci series up to the given number. Such type of programs need to be practiced thoroughly, dear students. Later, I have come up with register transfer language and the basic symbols and the macros and the timing and delay. These are said to be the short and the long questions for the unit 2 and 3. Do prepare well for the course microprocessor, I mean COM to score out of outmark. Have come up with the next is the fourth unit is up the floating point numbers and the subtraction of binary numbers in ones complement notation multiplication or division algorithm is the topmost question input output interface short question data transfer scheme with dma is a short question and the asynchronous data transfer and iop mode of data transfer is set to data transfer is set with the topmost question intel 80898 iop these all are set to be the short and the long questions for the course com for under unit 4 later the unit 5 is also a bit easy and a bit lengthy but there are only few concepts you are supposed to work out but different types of memory hierarchy memory uh, main memory auxiliary memory and associate memory is set to be the topmost question which may occur in short and long and the difference of this along with the cache memory and the block diagram of each and everything RIS architecture is set to be the show very important long question along with the need diagram explain the instructions of the pipeline pipeline when explain the vector processing and the special processor act with the short question arithmetic pipeline the short question explain four possible hardware schemes that can be used in an instruction pipeline in order to minimize the performance degradation caused by the instruction branching such type of question is asked several times in the previous year question paper these are being taken from the analysis done by me into the syllabus copy of COM of information technology students. Dear students, if your student is looking to just pass and score the marks, he now need to work out 1, 2, 3, 100 percent all the concepts which have kept on paper. You need to work out 1, 2, 3 compulsory. If you are reading 2, you are supposed to study even 3. In order to get a basic concepts, you need to work out the unit 1. A student looking to score out of outmark first can go with 5th and later they can go with the 4th unit. This is a pattern of working out the course COM. If you haven't subscribed to my channel please do it immediately by pressing a bell icon you are going to receive the latest notification for the upcoming examination the important questions as well as the concepts related to the engineering and do not forget to share my uh, uh, channel to your friends so that it may reach them and help them and ask them to subscribe if you are looking for any other course do not forget to comment to your students good luck and this is your Chandrasekhar Uttukari signing off for today thank you